Guys, Jed Walters here. I am at the side of the putting green here at Las Colinas Golf Club in Alicante in Spain. Uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about spin, particularly on pitch shots, chip shots, um, and almost dispel a little bit of a myth, really, um, because a lot of people, they love the feel and the look of playing this really low, spinny sort of, the, the shot you see on tour where it fizzes in really low and a couple of checks. Um, it actually doesn't work the way you think it works. If we look at the wedge, I've got my most lofted club here, just so I can illustrate better. So 58 degrees of loft here. So if we said, well, the golf club, in your instance, you're thinking, right, steep from the back foot, hitting down, it's going to create lots of spin. Well, actually, it's going to come down. The golf club is probably going to meet maybe the first five grooves before it's off as it goes through. So it's actually going to come out really low, so it's going to give you that initial start, which you're looking for, but then it's going to have one tiny little check, and then it's going to release, and you're going to hit it 20 yards past the stick because it's a very, very firm and aggressive shot. Actually, if you want to increase the spin on your shots, the golf ball has got to stay in contact with the club face for its maximum period of time. It's got to cover more and more grooves. So we need to shallow the angle from a slightly further forward position. So we actually want to see the golf club coming through this way, presenting the loft really nicely. So it's going to slide further up the face. It's still going to come out fairly low for the loft you've got, and it's going to have more control on it. So you are going to get that really nice finish as you come through. So you don't have to worry about having 25 feet coming back because you're going to get it in there really nice. So how does the shot look? How does it work? Well, if I was to take the setup that you would like to see, that sort of back foot one, the super bang de-lofted, well, let's just take it back a bit. Let's take it to a more central location. So if we look in there, it may be half a golf ball behind the very central point, but you don't want to get any further. We want fraction of pressure, maybe 60, 40 to your lead side in here, and then once you're in this position, it's all about making a nice, smooth, shallow angle of attack. So we're coming in this way here. So we're presenting nice loft. The club's going to get lots of, of the, the golf ball itself, so it's going to maximize the spin. By moving the golf ball from that point and hitting down to this point and becoming shallow, can potentially increase the revolutions on the golf ball by as much as 3,000. Now, if you think you're hitting a shot and you want it to stop, well, I'd rather have the 3,000 because I know that ball is going to grip and I'm going to have a much easier put and I'm going to see a shot which looks much more what I see in my mind and it's going to produce then the outcome that I want. So, we want just a slight, maybe 12 inches apart with our feet. Remember, ball, hair behind the central point, 60-40 on the lead side. So not loads of shaft lean, you know, if I look down from my angle here, my hands look like they're right on top of the central point of the golf ball. And then it's just nice and smooth, feeling shallow, feeling that sort of around and to the left exit. So feel the handle come around to the left as we go through. And we're going to produce more spin and a greater outcome. So you're going to hit a more controlled shot. You're going to see it stop much, much quicker, and you then don't have to worry about is there water, is there anything at the back of the green, because it isn't going to get there. It's going to stop with great control. Guys, it's a shot that you must practice. Like every other shot in golf, it takes practice. If you don't put enough time into it, you're never going to get the result that your mind sees. But I assure you, just get around there, practice it, get a little bit shallower, and you will see a much, much better result as a, as a consequence of that. So guys, thanks for watching. Uh, as again, always check out the videos that are on the Golf Monthly website. There's tons and tons of great content on there, and it's all aimed at making you play better golf, shoot lower scores, and more importantly, enjoy your golf. Guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.